this is Man Wilson of Man Wilson Tarot. It is Sunday, August 29th, 2021. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. Glad to have you. If you are a long-term subscriber, I do thank you for your continued support. Please like, share, and subscribe. If you would like a personal reading, please message me, and we will discuss details. How are you doing today, Scorpio? I hope you're doing well. I hope you're taking care of yourself and the people around you and vice versa. I hope you know you're beautiful, you're gorgeous, and you have that beautiful star shining bright inside of you. This is a general reading. It will not resonate with everyone. Take what does and leave the rest. And there's no gender in tarot. Cutting the deck for Scorpio. Spirit. First card out, the Hermit, Virgo energy. I like the Hermit, I do. I like this energy. And I love this card, how he is just chilling in his coffin. He's got his star in a jar. And this is talking about rest, relaxation, recuperation, the Hermit. What is crossing this? Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords. Swords are air energy. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I do not like this energy at all. This is a toxic individual. This person is narcissistic and true narcissistic. I'm not throwing that word around for nothing. Liar, cheater, thief. Very negative energy. I don't like this energy. Sneaky. Leave that person behind, Scorpio. What is consciously known about this situation? The magician. Look at you, Scorpio. You're manifesting new things. Uh, and on his hat, there's a whole bunch of candles. Looks like it's a crystal ball. I see a bowl. I see plants. I don't know what these are. The Magician, the Great Manifester, you could be manifesting cups for love, pentacles for money, wands for passion, swords for honest communication. What are you manifesting? It will be, it will come to you, whatever you're manifesting. I like that card. What is unconsciously known? Oh, the King of Love, look it. King of Cups. Water Energy, Cat Spicy Scorpio. Maybe you are manifesting love. This person is loving, caring, compassionate, a nurturer, a good partner, a good parent, the king of cups, the king of love. This is his eye. His eye holds our hearts, which I like. Recent past, ten of wands. Wands are fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is the end of a burdensome cycle. You've been carrying a burden for too long, Scorpio. It is time to lay that burden down and move on to a passionate new beginning. Near future. Three of Pentacles. Pentacles are Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Pentacles are coins, money. He is watering the skulls under the ground. This is talking about building a firm foundation. This could be at work. This could be a group project. This could be working on a solid foundation with the person that you are interested in. Where do you find yourself? Nine of Pentacles. Oh, I like this energy too. Minor on an Empress. This person is ground to balance stable, a business person, makes her own money, takes care of her money, knows how to budget, which I'm working on. This person is single because they want to be single. They are very independent and they're only going to entertain a love interest if they bring their best because you are just fine being single. External influences, Six of Cups, Six of Cups, 
This talks about, or cups are water energy, can't spicy Scorpio, cups are love. This talks about joy, bliss, puppy love, friendship, nostalgia, remembering when times were good and everything was happy, the six of cups. But Scorpio, especially if you're looking back at seven of swords or this burdensome cycle, Make sure you are not looking back to the past with rose-colored glasses. Sometimes we think things were better than they were. Feel the need to say that after we have seven of swords and ten of wands. Hopes and or fears, the six of pentacles. I like the skull on the pendulum. Six of pentacles means equal give and take. This card shows up when there is equal give and take or when there's not equal give and take so take into consideration the seven of swords and the ten of wands and you working on a firm foundation could be equal give and take and you got your single card Overall outcome, Eight of Cups, Cups are water energy, can't spicy Scorpio. Eight of Cups talks about walking away from something that no longer serves you. Could be um, this, uh, the burden you're walking away from, could be this person you're walking away with from. You might be in hermit mode because you've been hurt, but you're walking away from it which is a good plan bottom of the deck the empress this is libra and taurus energy the empress she is this is the this is minor arcana empress major arcana empress she is like ground about stable she sits in her throne. She's very independent, divine feminine. She does not get out of her front throne for anybody. She knows her worth. Um, she's, she would never, ever put up with a seven of swords. She's always birthing new ideas, money, love. If you're pregnant, congratulations. If you don't want to get pregnant, take proper precautions. Eight of Swords. Oh, this person did a number on you. Eight of Swords being uh, backed into a corner, stuck in your own mind. You are... You are not seeing things the way they really are. In the Rider Waite deck, they show a person. She has a blindfold on and her wrists are bound and there's swords all around her and there's a sword right in front of her her wrists are bound like this she can lift her arms up and take off that blindfold there's a sword to cut those bindings off and move on with your day do not keep yourself stuck in eight swords this is only an illusion things are better than you imagine them to be. Do not keep yourself stuck. Swords are air energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Here we have another Divine Feminine. The High Priestess. She sits in her throne as well. She knows her worth. She's quite independent. Um, she has shown... I like her throne. It's really cool. She is shown reading a book. She got candles in some decks. She has tarot cards, crystal ball, the high priestess. Page of wands. This is a new passionate message. Wands are fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Wands are all about passion. Pages are messengers. This is a passionate message. Very nice. I like it for you, Scorpio. And the chariot, my car card, the chariot, chariot, you could be looking at a car, you could have just bought a car, 
Um, the chariot also talks about like a fork in the road, like a decision that needs to be made. Um, there's can there's often two horses here, and you need to pick a direction. This is Cancer energy. This is moving forward. A decision. Uh, a decision has to be made about which direction you're going into. Oh, that's two. Sorry. Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Yep. Sneaky, the end of a burdensome cycle. Clear it very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Separation, time apart from your partner is on the horizon, but that's a good thing. So in your future, you've got working on a firm foundation with someone else. You are very independent. You're waiting for someone that is fantastic. You didn't have equal give and take. You walked away from that situation. You are the Empress sitting in your own power. High Priestess also sitting in your own power. You got a passionate message and you are moving forward. And there was also the King of Cups over here too. All right, Scorpio, so I see forward movement. I see forward movement. I see you, you working. I see you being strong and independent, looking for equal give and take, walking away from what no longer serves you. Independent, independent, passionate message. And the chariot moving forward. Beautiful Scorpio. Yes, keep moving forward. You know you know about the red flags. You have a separation from this person. But clearly decide on what you want so it comes to you very soon. This has been Amanda Wilson of Amanda Wilson Tarot, and I will talk to you on Tuesday. See you later, Scorpio. Bye.